wonderful. He's Hey guys, Taka Ta- said something. You want to listen to it? Him and Tommy C <laughs> spent 4.3 seconds talking, talking about, about it. it. <laughs> you gotta hear this. Uh, it wasn't even a big part of the fucking thing. You were you guys were talking about like fucking sports and stuff like that, and I was just yeah, like, we talked about. I, I think we talked about Andy for like legitimately twenty three minutes. Seconds. No, I don't even think we got minutes. This was thirty <laughs> or forty fucking seconds where he asked, "Well, how did this happen?" I just, well, I I don't hate Andy, but I'd rather chew my fucking arm off to work with Andy. <laughs> yeah, and then that turned into two hours, which is yeah. content. All right, Taka, real quick, say something nice about Andy before somebody sends him that clip of what They always said, cut out if I, I said nice things about him for two months. <laughs> he makes nice digital art sprites. Um, Andy's wow. fun to play video games with because uh, he reacts in, in, in very fun ways when you're playing video games. He, he's great reactions. Um. Andy's not a dick. Uh, in some ways, a lot of people would look at Andy's type of sensitivity as a bad thing, and it is in some instances. But I look at Andy's sensitivity as kind of what makes Andy Andy. He pisses me off. Andy will piss me off quick. <laughs> but I don't think that makes him a bad person. I think that makes him a different person than me and maybe a lot more naive than a lot of people would expect him to be. I don't think he's a retard. I don't think he is a malicious person. I think that sometimes he handles things a lot different than I would, and I think that he is naive as hell sometimes. The, the, that, that would be biggest fucking things that I, I would say that are negatives on Andy. There are a lot of positives to Andy. Motherfucker likes to smile. I'd rather be around somebody who likes to smile than people who like to just, just fucking shit constantly. Yeah. I, I prefer Andy to. Oh well, I, I'm I. The fact that I had to think of that, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'd rather hang out with JF or Andy at this point. No, hold on. Uh, Catskin Ren might have uh might have done a good good idea of uh wrapping it up, ra- wrapping a good label on this. He's kind of adorable, but fuck him. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, I honestly not not adorable. Like I'd say. Like, uh, 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 even when he does the, bad stuff, like f- you can't think he's doing it on purpose. Yeah, yeah, it, it, he's kind of like a foaming at the mouth chihuahua. That's mm. that's how I describe Andy Warhol. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, <laughs> why a foaming at the mouth chihuahua? Because he just seems like a diseased animal. That uh, <laughs> a diseased that, animal, a diseased animal that's sort of like adorable, maybe. Like you're you're not so sure, but you can't get close to it. That's something you know for sure. It's like a bunny with half its ear cut off. It's adorable in the mistake that it is. <laughs> Fair enough. That sounded way worse than yours. No, go back to rabbit animal. I thought that sounded better. I sounded worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, my, it's just like you, it, it's adorable. But there's something disgusting about it. But you sure as shit know you can't pet it. Yeah, that's, you, that's you my probably don't want to pet it, but it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from a distance. <laughs> like uh, there are a lot of talents that Andy has that nobody's ever going to see because he never really jumps on. Like I was trying to suggest, uh, kind of throw it out there that maybe on one of his Purple Dragon streams he should just sit there and do some pixel art and just just do some pixel art for people, see if they like watching that. It's just something different for people. So people could see that there's something to him. It's like uh, Richard had said, Worski's untalented. Not true. He does have talents. It's just so there's most of them you're never going to see. Makes a hell of a fucking uh, video. Makes a good video. Good yeah, he can make videos better than a lot of people. But that doesn't, I mean, he hasn't been making videos. So again, another one of his talents and strengths, you're not seeing. Oh, fucking YouTube, fucking clip the fucking. Add revenue out and made the streaming more. I, th- I think it's like it, a long it's, time it, ago. It, people used to just fucking make videos on on YouTube and streaming was seen like like as oh why why would you do a fucking hangout why would you do, why would you do a stream that's stupid yeah now it's it's kind of become 
reverse because now the streams you kind of have to do them. <laughs> yeah, it's Jesus. Uh, I don't know. Like, I I think Andy's biggest talent is the bandwagoning. Like, he can bandwagon real quick. <laughs> Just like. He did. He, there are a lot of people who have started. A, I saw there was a meme going around about Andy being a chameleon, and that oh. he yeah. he has to find what he's going to do, and he has to stick with that for a good fucking while, or else he's going to get that fucking reputation of a baked Alaska, somebody who yeah. just goes from spot to spot. He has to find his own. He's got to find the spot that he's he feels good at to where he'll stay there for a while. Mm -hmm. He's got to do it. If he doesn't, he's going to have the same reputation as Baked Alaska had. 